Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have a nice, fun lunch cheese and cracker type of tasting. And crackers are all provided by Richard. So thank you, Richard, for sending us all these different crackers. Uh, you've probably seen us try some other ones, so we're working our way through the cracker box. Yes. And we kind of have a variety here. We have Hovis Extra Wheat Germ Crackers. We have Jacob's Choice Grain Multigrain Crackers. We have Fort's Original Bath Oliver from Bath, England. And we have another Jacob's. This is Butter Puffs, our lightest, flakiest crackers. Okay. So those all sound interesting. We've got quite a variety. And we also have a variety of toppings to put on. So first off, I found a three pack of British cheese. We've got Sage Derby, Port Wine Derby, and Double Gloucester with chive and onion, I believe. Right. So we're gonna have those. Plus we have a few cream cheese spreads from Trader Joe's. We have an onion and chive cream cheese spread. And we have a Trader Joe's black garlic cream cheese spread. We got to sample that one in the store. It was really good, but we haven't it tried was. it. Yes. And something you whip together. And then we have, inspired by what I saw in one of the packages, I, if you saw my cheese video where I had some cheese winnings, <laughs> the mozzarella is in there along with tomato and basil with a little olive oil. So we're gonna have that as a topping as well. Fresh basil. Fresh basil from the garden while it's still alive. <laughs> All right, so where do we even start? Good idea. And we, we both have a couple ciders as well to... Yes. To... Cosmic Crisp. Yep. Which I think we sampled on one of the other videos. We did. With mm -hmm. another cheese tasting. Yeah. Okay, so where would you like to start? I guess I'll just open up this Hovis Extra Wheat Germ. Again, I'm gonna look around to see if there's a spot to open it. Aha, open here. Okay. I found it this time. Look at that. Look at that. My girlfriend is full oh. of talent. <laughs> Cracker opening fail. I got too confident. All good. All good. All good. Only one got a little bit broken. Yeah. That's okay. I'll, I'll bite the bullet. <laughs> always some kind of a disaster anytime we open one of these packages <laughs> could be worse <laughs> nothing fell on the floor there all right we. so what do we want to try this with that's a very good question what would we like to try this with um mm. you want to try cheese cream cheese spread i'll uh, start out with one of these cheeses i think okay and do the double gloucester oh well, i'm gonna Make things easier by going copycat mode. <laughs> Plus, I, I just love the the taste of the onion and chive. The double Gloucester with onion and chive. Yeah, we really like. We've had this before. I don't know that we've had it from this. I believe it's Belmont Farms. No, I think we had it from Trader Joe's. We had Trader Joe's right. version, and I feel like we had um, the Cooper's Hill brand. I think it was that one where they they rolled the cheese down the hill. <laughs> We got that at Whole Foods, so. I could just see you doing that. I could see you, that, that's one of your bucket list items. Breaking my neck. <laughs> I, I'd be there to meet you at the hospital. <laughs> as long as I had that big wheel of cheese. How'd this happen again? How did you <laughs> fracture your back? Cheese. Rolling after a big wheel of cheese, yeah. Big wheel of cheese. All right. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here we go. That's nice, makes kind of a nice neutral canvas for the cheese. <laughs> it does. This is one of my favorite cheeses. Mm -hmm. mm. Like I said, neutral cracker, perfect. Mm -hmm. I think for either sweet or savory. Mm hmm. Very nicely together. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Richard, I know Richard sent us Hovis crackers before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought they were kind of shaped like the Hovis bread. Weren't they kind of shaped like the bread? I think, yeah, I think it was. Mm-hmm. I don't remember how they were different, but yeah. All That's right. good. So we may have to go back in and try some of these other items as well. So next up is the Fort's Original Bath Oliver. And these say they're delicious with cheese and wine. So I think this one, <laughs> I want to try it with the, the port. The port. You want me to do that? And here I go again, looking for the open here. And I'm not, I'm not seeing one on here. I'm, I'm not seeing it either. So if, do you want me to? <laughs> trying to save you from breaking a nail, honey. I think I got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, first one's broken. I'll take it. I'll take one well, for Unless you want to do half a one. Cause... Sure. Okay. Kind of remind me of water, water crackers. They do. Cheers. Since these are not huge slices of cheese. Might fit perfectly on half a cracker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, these look very plain. Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Remind me of it as far as being really neutral, even more so than I'd say the Hovis. Yeah. But maybe a little thicker than a water cracker, not quite. I feel like water crackers are a little crunchier. Yeah, I was just thinking these remind me of water crackers, but the texture is not quite mm -hmm. the same. All right. I think I actually like these better than water crackers. And that cheese. Yeah. Full flavor. Mm hmm. Yeah, so my first time trying the Port Wine Derby. That's good. Can't get over how colorful <laughs> these are. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to trying. Yeah, I've had other wine infused cheeses and I always like them. Yeah. I'm wondering too if this is good too, like as you're drinking wine, kinda helps soak up a little of the alcohol. <laughs> are you afraid you can get out of control? <laughs> yeah, so good. Yeah. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> we have a Jacob's Multigrain, and we also have the Butter Puffs. What would you like me to open first? Either one. I'm thinking we can be copycats, and we can do the tomato mozzarella for that one. Okay. And hopefully it doesn't fall over the place. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, okay. I made an attempt <laughs> to look for the open here, and I've, I've not seen it, so... It's one of these things where I see after the fact. My bad. Yeah. I feel like I see it more on the round packages like that one. And the whole Viola. <laughs> no Thank you. It just seems like in general, the crackers we've gotten from the UK seem to be on the larger side compared to what we have as crackers here. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Did it say anything about... So choice grain are multi-grain crackers with wheat, barley, and rye. All right. Lots of serving suggestions on it. Looks like I see mustard with some meat. That would oh. be good, too. And the other image looks very much like what you just prepared. Here. Yeah. I feel like mine's cut a little bit large, so we'll see how it goes. You need more cheese. I need a lot more cheese. You need a lot more cheese. Let's see. It's going to fall off. Yeah, it's yeah. going to fall off. Bit more tomato. There we go. Nice. <laughs> okay. Are right. you ready? I'm ready. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Texture is much lighter on these. Mm -hmm. Not so dense. The um, fresh basil goes very nicely with the cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mine keep wanting to fall apart. <laughs> That's a good combo. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for prepping that. I like those crackers. Yeah, I like that lighter texture to them. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so far, all these crackers. Very good. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it went well. Mine got a little messy, but it was still good. <laughs> no. If I remember correctly, you used a special olive oil in this? It's, I think it was a Tuscan herb olive oil. Okay. Good. I didn't see what all was in it. I'm assuming like basil and rosemary, maybe oregano. Sounds good. You know what else sounds good? Butter puffs. Butter puffs. We have here Jacob's butter puffs. Okay. Found pull. There you go. I'm Careful. I'm getting cracker <laughs> shrapnel all over the table. I was about to do this dramatic. Uh, yeah. You know what happened? You saw what happened to me. So. Oh, oh, those are really flaky. Okay. The top one looks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these look like they'll be really crumbly, huh? Could be. Okay. Okay. Th these do look. No false advertising. These do look extra. Puffy. Well, puffy. Uh, flaky. I'm kind of wondering, would they do better with the with the creamy ones? I don't know because if they're that delicate and you're trying to apply a <laughs> spread, they might. Okay. I, I, whichever sounds. I'll then try again, with the sage, Darby. Then. Okay, I feel like I crushed your dreams. Of... <laughs> well, I can always go back for another one. Okay. Right. That beautiful green color. It's very pretty. Yeah, I just love that color. Ready? Mm hmm. Mm. You have lots of layers. Yeah. Like a pastry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, very light, very mm -hmm. flaky, like you said, uh, like a lot of layers. I mean, it's on the thick side, but it's a lot of layers in there. Yeah, I could definitely see this being good with both sweet and savory. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel, though, I'm looking at the package, and I mean, that might be another good one for the tomato mozzarella, too. And I, I'm thinking it'll go well with the creamy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Of all the four, I think this would be the lightest mm -hmm. and the flakiest. Yeah, the Jacobs were both on the lighter side. Yeah. You want to try these with a dip? With a spread? I was thinking with one of the spreads. I think it might go better. I almost feel like it's almost a little bit too much cracker for the Sage Darby. Sure. I'll try this Trader Joe's black garlic cream cheese. No, I, I think these butter puffs would also be really good with like a, a sweetened flavored cream cheese. You're right, or like just like a cream cheese, maybe put a little jam on top. A little raspberry Ooh, that jam. That would be good. In fact, we have some of those berry, spicy berry jams. I'm seeing lots of possibilities here. I was just thinking, yeah. Mm hmm. Sounds good. Spreading it on nice and thick. <laughs> there you go. So, now this is the one we had um, tried a sample of. We tried a sample of it and really liked it. Okay. Seems like all of a sudden we're here seeing a lot of black garlic items. Yeah. It's funny, I mentioned the black garlic, like, seems very popular now. It's like our Trader Joe's will go in and we'll see certain things. They look like like a popularity spell. <laughs> you know, it's going to be here for a spell. It's going to be here for a while. Today U it was the ube. <laughs> ube. Ube cookies, ube tea cakes, ube mochi, ube pancake mix. It was there today. And for <laughs> weeks we haven't seen it. But before that. I think it was in months because you wanted those cookies. Yes. And we missed out on them. You got some spread. Right. But the cookies disappeared. We never saw them again. Never to come back. And we saw them, so we grabbed them. And even the the checker said, "Oh yeah, these things go really fast. And when they're gone, they're gone." So it's just a good thing we got this when we did because yeah. probably now it's going to be gone soon. <laughs> mm. Mhm. Mm yeah, it goes nicely. Mhm. Mm. -hmm. mm. These are messy. <laughs> They're good. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, these are very good with savory. Mm -hmm. I was talking about trying it with jam a moment ago. I'd like to try that too with the cream cheese. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. I think I did like that better with the creamy spread yeah. than just the slice of cheese. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, or like any of their other suggestions. Like the one also looks like a bruschetta. Yeah. So bruschetta mix, I bet that would be really good on top of it. Yeah, my only concern was these are so light and flaky. I was just trying to, I could just imagine trying to apply pressure. It wasn't spread. too bad though. Oh. It spread pretty easily, I thought. It's just when you bite into it, and it flakes all over. Yeah, when you're spreading, it's more durable than it looks. Yeah. So. We have another spread here. Onion and chive. What would you like to try that with? Mm. Did you have a preference? Maybe the hovis. Hovis? Okay. Yeah. You want to try that one? Sure. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Ladies first. We don't usually pick up Trader Joe's cream cheese. I'd say more often we just get the regular old Philadelphia brand. Right. But so far these have been good. Yes, no complaints. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. I do love the onion and chive. Me too. So <clears throat> it's a, a go to. Mm hmm. So I love the double Gloucester so much <laughs> with that onion and chive. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with it. Mm hmm. Goes nicely on that cracker, too. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, we were saying how it's a pretty neutral cracker. But you still get the wheat flavor. Mm hmm. And it goes nicely. I like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like I think we've seen in a few other examples too, like you could put the cream cheese on, maybe slice some cucumbers or tomatoes. Yeah. Lots of options. Mm hmm. That's the nice thing with the larger crackers is that you have room to put extra things on like that. Yeah. I would agree with you too, as you mentioned earlier. Looks like a lot of the bread crackers. Size-wise, are larger than the ones we have, mm -hmm. which is uh, I'd go for that. Yeah. So, do you have any favorites? Hmm. Hard to compare. They're all pretty neutral. Favorites would be a toss-up between the Choice Grain Multigrain Jacobs and the Hovis Crackers. I think those might be my two favorites as well. Yeah. Uh, but I would love to try these these butter puffs with a sweet spread. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. So. Yeah, I'm um, thinking both taste and texture wise, I like those. I feel like I need for these, these are the most plain. I feel like I need to find the right topping for these. Well, I like those too. I, I just yeah. think that um, I like the wheat flavor. Mm hmm. If, if, I had a topping and I had to choose between, you know, pick two of the three. I think I'll go with the, the wheat, Covis and the Jacobs, yeah. but I still like that one too. But I, I, I know what you mean. It seems more, more neutral. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of curious, Richard, you sent us these. Thank you very much, by the way. Uh, of these four, please let us know what your favorite is and what do you pair it with? <laughs> Yeah, these seem a lot easier to eat than the original ones we tried, the Jacob's Cream Crackers. <laughs> yeah. Which we did the Cream Cracker Challenge, if you haven't seen that. We did. What about the cheese we picked up? Did you have a favorite there? I, I did. Enjoy them all. But it's probably a tie between the Sage Darby and the Double Gloucester. Okay. And I'm probably going to say the Double Gloucester. Something about the chive and onion. Mm-hmm. Just, just love that combination, which you're going for right now. Yeah, I was just trying it on its own so I could really get the flavor. Yeah. But they're all good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't turn any of these down. But yeah, that'd be my number one choice. What, what about you? I'm trying to decide. Depends on your mood. Let me go back in because I feel like I didn't get to 
I know we tried Sage Darby before, but I didn't get a good. And that's really unique because I don't think we really have many cheeses with sage in it. At least that I've come across. It might be out there, but. No. And I'm not trying to plug Trader Joe's or um, Two Town Cider House, but we're, we're drinking Cosmic Crisp. <laughs> yeah, it's been going nicely with what we have here. Uh, apple cider. 8%. See, now that I went back and tried them all on their own. But besides, it depends on my mood. I'm really liking the port wine. Really? I love the wine infused cheeses. Mm hmm. Okay. No, they're all good. Mm hmm. And I, I like your, your mix. Yeah. I have here with the cheese, the tomato, and the fresh basil. Both cream cheese spreads were delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Richard, thank you very much. Thanks, Richard, for sending us these crackers. We're getting lots of ideas just as we sit here of what we can top them with. But let us know in the comments if you have any favorite crackers and what you like to top your crackers with. Yeah. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.